Hey guys, Tom Terms with Linux MCE. I wanted to give a quick demonstration as to the progress of a Q Orbiter that I'm uh, a special QML scan that I'm doing for the Nokia N950. What I'm using here is, of course, a Nokia N950 developer prototype, and I've compiled a version of the uh, Q Orbiter to run on it. The difference between this one and our other builds of Q Orbiter is that this particular version uses a special skin that matches to the UI components that are found in uh, that are found in Harmattan, or more specifically, the operating system found on the Nokia N9 and 950. I did this to demonstrate the flexibility of the UI components and how skinnable the actual QML orbiter is. None of the core code has been changed in order to accommodate this. Only the QML has changed. Now I've gone ahead and logged in and it gave me a message here basically stating that some parameters of the house need to be changed and um, it should take 15 seconds or so to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to say don't do it. Let's just go on past it. And we see here a list of scenarios. Now, the way that everything is rendered here, I can actually take and reorient the phone. And the phone will take and uh, change its orientation appropriately, and all the text items and things will lay out appropriately. For the, ch for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use this in portrait mode. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into the lighting section here. Now, I don't have a room selected here currently, but if I go ahead and select a room, the scenario is taken update automatically. And I can, of course, select a scenario, such as turning the lights off in this room, turning the lights on in this room, etc., and have everything triggered autom and have everything triggered appropriately. And since this is uh, built with uh, the Mego components, all of these pages and things are rendered as uh, stacks with full-blown page history and everything else in addition to orientation tracking. So, if I click the back here, it'll take and go back to the screen I had before. Now, there is a bug right now that the, uh, the, current, win the current room is not kept or persisted across multiple, sta uh, across multiple pages here. I will fix this shortly. But if we can go back, we can bounce between rooms, etc., and change scenarios, etc., and everything pretty much uh, and everything pretty much works as as expected. I'm going to take and, and implement the rest of the uh, screens as we develop them over on uh, the other sides and as the other skins and whatnot mature. But it's worth noting here that all of this right here is currently being painted to match the current UI standards that are currently on this phone. And just as a point of demonstration, I'm actually going to go ahead and go into the application switcher so you can see side by side. You'll see here is our orbiter application amongst uh, some of the other bits and pieces. And you'll see that it matches the other, uh, the other applications quite nicely. See? So, um, yeah. Uh, until next time, guys, I just wanted to do this quick little demonstration, but uh, I wanted you guys to see what was up. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time.